Hi everybody, this is Bonnie Barker with Bonnie Bay Crochet and today I have something very special for you. I want to show you Shannon's Wandering Throw. And this throw is named for the longest river that flows through the country of Ireland, which is the beautiful country that has inspired so many of my cabling designs. This features my newer cabling designs here, which alternate from double to single as well as the large honeycomb. Well, let me give you a better view of this right here. Well, let me go ahead and show you what you're going to need. For this project, I'm going to be using Universal Yarn Uptown Worsted. This is an anti-pilling, 100% acrylic. Each ball has 3.5 ounces or 100 grams. That would be 180 yards or 160 meters. This is a medium weight or which is commonly known as a number four weight in the U.S. The number of uh, balls that you are going to need of this particular yarn will be displayed right across the bottom of your screen. I'm also recommending that you have a crochet hook size I or 9 or 5.50 millimeters. And as always, I recommend that you have a yarn needle and a pair of sharp scissors handy. To begin, we are going to start with a slip knot. and a foundational chain of 193 chains. After working your foundation chain of 193 chains, we are going to begin working the first row by working in the chains. And I'm going to do something a little bit different than I usually do. I am going to work in the back bump of the chain. I'm going to start with the fourth chain from the hook so that would be one two three four and if you turn the chain you're going to see this back bump right here and that's where I'm going to work my double crochet primarily because we will not be working a perimeter round so whatever you work on this row this will be the way the row will uh, will look when it is completed so go ahead and work a double crochet in each of those chains all the way across and again I am working mine in the back bump of each chain but if you don't want to do that you just want to work on the side that is that is perfectly fine as well I just think working in the back bump for this particular design is going to give it a much better look at the end of this row you should have 190 double crochets plus the chain three. Okay, after completing row one, it's time to go to row number two. We're going to chain two, one, two, and we are going to begin working front and back post ribbing. We're going to skip the first stitch and we are going to work a front post, double crochet, followed by a back post double crochet and we're going to alternate that back and forth front post double crochet and then a back post double crochet we're going to alternate this back and forth all the way across the row so go ahead and work that and since we skipped we do skip the first stitch but we are going to be working in the turning chain and I'll show you that at the end of the row the stitch count should remain constant at 190 stitches plus the chain two turning chain after working this all the way across we're going to end with a front post double crochet and a half double crochet worked right into that entire 
turning chain don't work in a single thread or a loop but just right into the the entire uh, opening there for row three we are going to chain two skip the first stitch and starting with the back post double crochet we will work back post double crochet followed by a front post double crochet and we will alternate this all the way across the row do be sure that as you're working this that when you see front post that you work a front post and where you have back post you work a back post as we continue this ribbing so we're going to continue this all the way across the row and when you get to the end of the row it's going to end with a back post double crochet and then a half double worked into the turning chain so go ahead and finish row number three at the end of row three we're going to work a back post double crochet and then a half double crochet worked into that turning chain so this is what we have after completing three rows. So what I want you to do now is to continue with the ribbing. So after completing row number three, we're going to repeat rows two and three, three times more until we have a total of nine rows of stitching, all of which is the ribbing. Okay. All right, now this is the beginning of row 10 where all the fun begins. We're gonna start with a chain two, again, skipping that first stitch, and we're gonna work the front post double crochet and back post double crochet. We're gonna do that over the first 10 stitches once we get past that half double. Okay, so go ahead and do that over 10 stitches this is what you should have after working those 10 stitches and that last 10th stitch will be a back post double crochet and that's going to go for the beginning of all of the rows that begin with an even number in this design okay so now we are ready to work two waddle stitches that's w-a-t-t-l-e and let me show you how we're going to do this. This is very easy. We're going to work a single crochet. This is working in the top loops, not a post stitch. Chain one and a double crochet worked in the same space. Now we're going to skip the next two stitches, one, two, and we're going to do that again, working in the top loops. Single crochet, chain one, double crochet. Okay. And again, this is the waddle stitch, and this is how you would work the first row of this. The other rows are going to be a little different, actually a little bit easier, and I will show you how that is done once we finish this um, row. Now we're going to skip the next two. One, two. Again, for the waddle stitch, so that double crochet rest just like that. It fills space nicely, and as you'll see as we go along, it makes a lovely fabric in between the cables to help feature them a little bit better in our work so we're skipping these two stitches and now what I'm going to do we're going to do eight uh, times the section that I'm going to show you here we're going to work three front post double crochets and then a half double worked into the top loops of the next stitch and we're going to do that a few more times three front post double crochets and then a half double and let's do that again three front post double crochets followed by a half double and then the fourth set we're only going to work three front post double crochets and we will not follow that be careful do not follow that with a half double okay so let's take a look at what we've just done so what you see here are three front post half double three front post half double three front post half double three front post that's a 15 stitch motif okay so this is actually the foundation of 
the cable, one of the cables that we're going to be making, one of eight. Okay, so, and in between the cables, we're going to work two waddle stitches. I'll go ahead and work these again, worked in the very next stitch. Now, I will, I will say one thing, be very careful not to accidentally use the stitch in back, you know, double dipping, um, using a stitch twice, because then your stitch count will unfortunately be off. So you want to keep that stitch count constant, and just do be mindful of where you place your hook so that we're not skipping stitches unnecessarily or using stitches that we've already used. And I know that can be tricky with the post stitches, but just, just be mindful of that. So the very next stitch is right here. We're going to work a waddle stitch, single crochet, chain one, double crochet, which is how you do the waddle stitch, chain, skip two, one, two, and then another waddle stitch. That single crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. Skip the next two stitches, again as part of that waddle stitch, and then we begin the foundation for the next cable, which is going to be three front post double crochets and a half double worked into that next stitch. Again, being careful that we don't skip stitches or use stitches more than once front post, double crochet in the next three stitches. Follow that with a half double worked into the top of the next stitch. Again, we do this until we have the beginning of four columns. And the last group has only the front post stitches, not that half double crochet. And always be careful to do a visual check of your work at the end of every row, especially the rows that are front side facing, because I, I, I cannot count how many times I have just gone on through patterns like this and then I realized, oh dear, I crossed it wrong or I didn't do something right. So do a visual check. So we have our waddle stitches here and we have one, two, three, four of those columns begun and one, two, three half double crochets dividing that up. And again, we follow that with two waddle stitches. Skip two and another waddle stitch. So what we're going to do is work this until you have three complete sets with the post stitches, the four columns, followed by the two waddle stitches. We're going to have three of the same type of cables on each side of the throw. So once you have three sets of the columns followed by the waddle stitches, then we're going to go on to the center motif. And let me go ahead and show you that. So for the center motif, we're going to skip the next two stitches again as part of that waddle stitch. And we're going to continue making these columns. But for the center, we are going to make eight columns. Okay, seven of those columns are going to have three front post double crochets followed by the half double. So go ahead and work seven sets with the three front post double crochets and the half double, and then we'll work the eighth set together. So let me show you what I have so far. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sets, followed by the half double crochet, and then the eighth set or column We'll just have three front post double crochets, no half double following that, just like we don't have a half double beginning or at the end of the other cables as well. Okay, so now we are going to get some stitch markers out. So if you don't have any fancy schmancy um, stitch markers like I'm using here, feel free to just use a contrasting piece of yarn or even perhaps a leftover earring in your earring collections that, that kind of, you know, have a, a hook similar 
to this one. Um, those make excellent, excellent stitch markers. So I just wanted to show you, I've marked the large central motif, the beginning and the last stitch of that, just so that I don't forget, just as a visual reminder that I'm going to be doing something different as I come to this section. After that, we are going to go back to making the foundations for the other three cables that will be on the other side of this center motif. And we do that by making a waddle stitch, skip the next two stitches, and then the second waddle stitch. And after that, we're gonna skip the next two, and then we're gonna go back to making columns for the three large cables on the other side. And we do them the same way. Three front post double crochets, a half double worked in the top of that next stitch. And we do this um, three times I'll go ahead and do this one with you again. Okay, second column, third column, three more front post double crochets, followed by a half double, and the last column, again, just the three front post double crochets and do not work a half double. Okay, so we have our four columns begun, one, two, three, four, and we're gonna follow that again with two more waddle stitches. Skip two, and then another waddle stitch. So go ahead and work this section here that I just showed you two more times and then I'll show you what to do after that. So after completing those next two foundations, and I would definitely take the time to count the number of columns that you have and to make sure that you have two waddle stitches in between, just because this foundational row is so very important to everything going forward from this point. Okay, so now, Getting to the end and the final ribbing, we're going to skip the next two stitches and starting with the next stitch, we're gonna work a back post double crochet and then followed by a front post double crochet. And we're just going to work that back and forth over those last 10 stitches. You should have 10 stitches remaining. I'll show this to you once I finish these. Okay, this is the last stitch it finishes, or last ribbing stitch finishes with a front post double crochet, and let's just verify. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten stitches, and then we work a half double crochet worked into that turning chain, which is basically gonna be the way every single row will end. All right, so now we're going to turn and we have the back side of our project facing us. And we are going to do basically the same thing, except that we're going to be working back post double crochets across the, um, the parts that have post stitches. So let's go ahead and chain two. Now the first part is the ribbing. Skip that first stitch and we're gonna work a back post. Let's go ahead and wrap the hook first. A back post double crochet, front post, double crochet, and go ahead and work that over the first 10 stitches. After the ribbing section, which ends with the front post double crochet, we're gonna work in the waddle stitches. And in order to do that, we're not gonna work in that double crochet. So we're gonna skip that and we're only gonna work in the chain one space. And we're not gonna work in the single crochets either of these waddle stitches. So we go in to that chain one space and we work another waddle stitch, single crochet, chain one, double crochet. And let's go to the next waddle stitch, find that chain one space single crochet, 
chain one, double crochet. And you'll see that this does make a nice fabric in between the cables. After that, we're going to be working across the uh, foundation cable portion. So we're going to work three back post double crochets, one in each of those next three stitches, followed by a half double crochet worked into the top loops. Again, these are the recessed areas that help further help that cable to really pop. So three more back post double crochets, followed by a half double crochet. And remember we have four sets of these, three back post double crochets, followed by a half double. And as always, that last set does not have a half double, just three back post double crochets. I'll go ahead and stop and show you what you should have there. Okay, and again, following that, we have the waddle stitches. So we're going to work in that chain one space, a single crochet, chain one, double crochet, which again is the waddle stitch. Those three stitches together is also called the waddle stitch. And in the next chain one space, single crochet, chain one, double crochet. So go ahead and work what I just showed you here over the next two foundations for those cables. So after completing the foundation to those next two cables, we come to our stitch marker, which alerts us that we are working on a larger cable foundation here. This is where we have these eight sets of columns. You can take this out or you can just leave it. It's really not going to be in the way at this point. So what we're going to do, and before I do this, I just wanted to also just reiterate that yes, you do skip the single crochet, which is part of that waddle stitch. I did mention that before, but it does look like there's a stitch there. Make sure you don't work in that stitch. Okay, so now we're going to work the three back post double crochets. And if you want to even move this to the front, you can, you can just, you know, stick it through there, or you could probably just take it out. This would probably be the prudent thing to do. Um, remove it and put it in the first stitch going forward. So that way we are reminded of it every time we come to this section, at least just for now. And after those three back post doubles, we work a half double in the next stitch. So we're going to do that until we have eight columns in the center here. Okay, after working over those eight columns, let me go ahead and show you that. This is where the stitch marker was at the beginning. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight columns with, again, the half double crochets in between. There should be seven half double crochets in between. And here is the other stitch marker. I'm going to go ahead and remove that and put it in the last stitch of this section, just as a visual reminder. And now I get to the other side and we're going to work, go right into those two waddle stitches. worked into those chain one spaces. And then we're going to work the um, other cable foundations for the three cables on the other side. And again, three back post double crochets followed by a half double worked into the top loops. And we will do that until we have a total of four columns and it's already established, so that's two, three, four, and then the two waddle stitches, and then we work the same over the next um, foundation for that next cable, 
two waddle stitches, and then another of those four columns of the foundation, followed by the two waddle stitches. So go ahead and work that, and then I'll work the remaining ribbing section with you. So once we come to the last 10 stitches following these waddle stitches, and reminder, do not work in this stitch. That is part of the waddle stitch, and remember, we just work in the chain one space of those. So we're going to start with a front post double crochet, followed by a back post over those last 10 stitches. So go ahead and finish those 10 front and back posts. And don't forget, you have a back post as the last stitch along here with, the, with regards to the ribbing. And then we're going to work a half double crochet in that chain two space. Okay, so go ahead and finish row 11 and then we'll move on to the next row. Okay, now we have come to row 12 and this is where it gets very interesting. And if just stick with me and, and just pay close attention how I cross these cables and I think you will be fine. It is a very unique way of crossing them. It's one that I've devised and I, I think you will enjoy it once you understand how it works. Go ahead and start with the chain two and again, skipping that first half double. And we're going to start these 10 stitches with a front post followed by a back post double crochet. So go ahead and work those first 10 stitches. After those 10 stitches, we come to the waddle stitches. And again, we are working only in the chain one space. So let's go ahead and do that. And in the next one as well. Okay, so now I'm going to pause a second and tell you what I'm going to do with these columns before I do it, just to try to be as clear as possible. So what is going to happen is we are going to form a crossed cable with the second and the third column. This column, the first and the fourth column of this particular set are just going to elongate. We're just going to continue on with the front post double crochets here and here. Now when I get to crossing these, try to pay attention um, because I'm going to be using front post treble crochets as I cross these stitches. And the front post treble, where you wrap the hook twice, is only used when you cross cables. Everything else is pretty much going to be front or back post stitches, uh, double crochet stitches, that is. All right, so let's go ahead and on to the first column, which will just be three front post double crochets. All right, and then we work that half double, worked into those top loops. Now, the crossing of the cables, here we go. Skip the next three stitches, half double in the next half double. Okay, wrap the hook twice, and we're going to work front post treble crochets in each of the next three stitches. I'll try to keep my thumb out of the way for this portion, although it's a bit unnatural, but I want you to see the loops on the hook and exactly what we're doing. If you are watching this on a YouTube platform, you can change the speed. If I'm going way too fast, I can tend to do that. What you can do is look in the bottom of the screen. You may have to stop um, the video to do this, and you'll see a little gear shape, little circle gear shape item. If you click that, it will bring up a play speed playback menu, and you can select a slower speed. On cell phones, it's usually up in the upper right-hand corner. You'll see three vertical dots. That will do the same thing. Again, that's just on the YouTube platform. Okay, so after we've worked these three front post and that half double, we're going to work in front of these four stitches, and we're going to front post treble in this stitch, this stitch, and then this stitch. It's going to feel like a big reach, especially with the thicker yarn with the worsted weight yarn. But once you see how this works out, you'll understand better. 
and it's really not that difficult. We're only using the fundamental crochet stitches and we're not using any special equipment. So we have crossed our first cable. Now we're going to work a half double, and that next half double, and that kind of anchors it a bit. And the cable will look much better once we get several more rounds, I promise. After that, three more front post double crochets. And we come to the waddle stitches. Let's go ahead and do those. Okay, so now that is the first cable crossed. Now the next cable we're going to do differently. It's actually going to be a pair of cables. What we just did over here, we're going to do two times. We're going to do it here with the first and second columns. We're going to cross these and then the third and fourth columns are also going to be crossed. Okay, and then just a little preview. When we get to the third cable on the right side or left side, depending if you're watching it from the right or the left-handed versions, we're going to go back to what we did before. So we'll, this will be a column. These two will cross, and this will be, again, just growing this column. Well, I'm going to be doing this with you, but I just wanted to give you a little preview just to know what the roadmap looks like ahead. So to cross the next two cables, we're going to skip these three stitches again, half double, and that next half double, front post treble crochet in the next three stitches. Again, I'll remove my thumb there just a little bit so you see what the hook is doing. Working in front of those four stitches, we're going to front post treble in this stitch, this stitch, and then this stitch. And just, just to let you know too, I'm using the nerve endings in my tall man and my thumbkin um, digits on my, on my non-dominant hand quite a bit to guide the hook. Um, I, I'll, I will show you as we work this one. So I am using the thumb and, and that tall man finger to verify where this hook is going as I wrap it around the stitch. These fingers come in very handy with crochet. Okay, and then we half double in that next half double. Let's pause and take a look at what we have. So we have these two columns are crossed into a cable and we're going to do it again. Skip the next three stitches, half double in that next stitch, front post treble in the next three stitches, and then after we do that, working in front of these last four stitches, we're going to front post treble in this stitch, this stitch, and then in this stitch. Pulling it through two loops at a time there. And then waddle stitch time worked in those chain one spaces. Okay, so now we have a pair of crossed cables. And then now for the other cable, we're going to go back to what we did the first time. Let me go ahead and give another view. We're going to do this on the other side. So these cables are going to be alternating and changing, giving the eye, hopefully, some really fun, delightful things to look at. Okay, so we're just going to work three front post double crochets, half double, the next half double, and then skip the next three stitches, 
half double in that next stitch. Crossing the cables here, three front post treble crochets. Working in front of those last four stitches, we're going to front post treble in those three post stitches that we skipped. And then follow that with a half double crochet. And then three more front post double crochets. Let's take a look at what we have. Okay, so let's take a look at the entire side here because we will be repeating this um, on the other side of the center motif. So we have the column, crossed cables, column, waddle stitches, two crossed cables here, two waddle stitches, a column, a crossed cable, and a column. So let's go ahead and work the next two waddle stitches. All right, so now we have our stitch marker telling us that we have come to the large cable. I'm gonna go ahead and take that out and I'll replace it in just a second. So for this center motif, we are going to be working the large honeycomb cable. So what we're going to do to begin this, we are going to be crossing these a little bit differently. First, we're gonna skip the next three, half double in that first stitch. Let's go ahead and work three front post trebles like we've done before. And so this is where it gets a little different. So for the honeycomb, we're going to open up this cable. So one cable is gonna cross this way and another cable is gonna cross in the opposite direction. So what we need to do after we work these three front post trebles is we're gonna work behind these four stitches. Okay, so now to work behind these four stitches, we're gonna wrap our hook twice. And we're gonna come into this hole. You can see it's a large hole and I'm gonna use these two digits to, to um, guide my hook. And this is the stitch that we want, the first of the three post stitches. And you can even pull down the fabric here and my finger and thumb are guiding the hook as to which stitch to do first. We can always verify it visually, but, it, but it's always good to you know verify it a couple ways. Okay, so now for the second stitch of this um, cluster here. We're going to wrap the hook and come into the same hole again. Locate that next stitch, which is right here. And we can pull that fabric down so that we can see what we're working on. And that's stitch number two. And let's do it again. Coming into that same hole, here is that next stitch. Pull that down. It's located right there. And ta-da, we just did what I like to call and what is re referred to in patterns as a back cross. So we worked three front post treble crochets behind these other four stitches. Um, and we crossed it in the back. So let's go ahead and work a half double in the next stitch. Now the next two columns are gonna be a front cross. A front cross is what we've been doing all along, crossing the stitches in the front, which is much easier. So we skip the next three stitches, and again, half double crochet, three front post trebles, and then working in front, Go ahead and work front post treble crochets in those three stitches that we skipped. 
let's take a pause. Well, let's, let's go ahead and work the half double like that. So, so this is what you have. You have one column crossing out this way and another crossing this way. So they kind of open up like that. And we're going to do that one more time in the center motif. So let's go ahead and do that again. Skip the next three, half double crochet in the next stitch, front post treble in the next three, You should be able to do that uh, by now. Now this is where, again, walking on the back cross, we get our hook ready and we come into that hole and we locate the first stitch, which is the first of the three post stitches. You can pull that down, pull this section down if you need to. Front post treble. Yeah, keep the loops on the hook. That is very helpful. Let's do that again. Coming in, make sure that you don't get these other stitches entangled. And we located the next stitch right here. And pulling that fabric down, we locate it. Work that second front post treble. And the third one. Again, the hole is closing up here, but we can still do it. And here is the third stitch. And locate it and let's complete that front post treble worked behind those last four stitches okay half double in the next stitch and then again we're going to do another crossing but it's going to be a front cross like we've been doing over here the easier version of this skip three stitches half double in that next half double, let's go ahead and take our stitch marker out. We'll replace them in just a bit. Three front post treble crochets. Whoops, let's make that a treble. And working in front of those four stitches, we front post treble in the three stitches that we just skipped. And then we work those two waddle stitches. Let's take a pause and look at the center motif here. Again, the columns go out, one this direction, then this direction, this direction, and then this direction. And you'll understand this better. Or you can just look at a picture of this design in a written pattern so you'll understand kind of where this is heading. Okay, so now on the other side, this is going to parallel what we did over here. So what I'm going to suggest you do is if you need stitch support, you can go ahead and back this up to this point. I'll go ahead and put a little uh, time marker at the bottom of the screen where the cabling begins and you can rewatch that. But what we're going to do is that first cable, it's going to have the center two columns crossed and then two cables made in that next set of columns and then again column um, cable and then a column on the side there so go ahead and work that and I will show you the last 10 ribbing stitches at the end of this row at the end of row 12 we come to the ribbing it'd be very easy to miss this stitch but please do not it begins with a back post double crochet. If you accidentally skip that, it's going to throw you off just a bit. Um, and I, I don't want you to find that out after you've done, let's say 50 rows. So do make sure that once you come to the end of this ribbing, I'm going to go ahead. And since I'm just talking about this, I'm going to finish this out with you. And that 
that's eight and nine and ten and I'm going to go ahead and work that half double crochet so let me go ahead and count these with you so we start with the back post one two three four five six seven eight nine ten just make it a little habit you can count to ten rather fast so just go ahead and count to ten to make sure that you have ten at the beginning and ten at the end of these um, of this throw for the ribbing and it's always a good idea to do a visual check I'm going to do that with you too just to make sure that I did this correctly so we have one cable here with the two columns on the side two columns crossed here I'm sorry two cables crossed here and then we have one cable crossed we get to the center motif we have two large honeycombs begun this one here and another one here and then again on the other side that will be symmetrical to what we've already seen we have the columns framing a single cable two cables and then again the one cable with the two columns on the side all right so that looks good again do a quick visual check it will save you ripping out rows later on Pro I promise you that because I have already done that a couple times in the design process nobody is exempt from making mistakes like that so again take time do a visual check I know I'm repeating myself uh, and you're welcome. You'll thank me later. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go on to row number 13. Row 13 is worked with the back side of your work facing. And we start with a chain two, skipping that first half double crochet. And we begin with a back post double crochet over those 10 ribbing stitches and then front post. So go ahead and work those. 10 back post and front post double crochets after those 10 post stitches we work our two waddle stitches again worked in the chain one space of those waddle stitches I'm hoping you are enjoying those and hopefully don't have any issues working these but I will pause just to make sure now we're going to work these very interesting rows over the back side after cables have been crossed okay so first of all with the columns we just work back post double crochets nothing new there so whenever you have columns like that we just work back post half double and a half double now over the crossed cable portion we're going to work three back post double crochets and that would be the next three stitches okay and now we're going to work a half double in between the last stitch and the next stitch this is going to be worked right in this space here which is the center of the cable where the cable was crossed and then three more back post double crochets And now we're going to skip this half double and then work a half double in the top loops of the next half double. Now, some of you mathematicians may say, wait a minute. Okay, well, let me go ahead and explain what we've just done here. Yes, we did add an additional stitch here in between the last stitch and the next stitch, the center cable crossing. And but we also just skipped this half double crochet down here. So this cancels the, the they, they cancel each other out essentially is what I'm trying to say so the stitch count does maintain itself it does remain constant throughout this project um, because of that so whenever you you know see added stitches and then you skip stitches they kind of cancel out you know think back to your eighth grade year maybe or maybe seventh grade for some of you um with the algebra class yeah that, that, that there is a use for algebra it does come back eventually <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and work three back post double crochets over that other 
column. Okay, now we have two more waddle stitches and we'll just work in that chain one space, the single crochet, chain one, double crochet. Now we have come to where we have the two cables crossed and we're going to work three back post double crochets. It's done just the way we worked the other one, but I'm just wanted to take time to show you again, especially if this is the first time you've seen my style of cabling. In between the last stitch and the next stitch, it's the center of the cable, work a half double crochet there. You should be able to stick your finger through that opening so that you are clear that it's in the right place. And then you have three more back post double crochets and again with the math thing we added one here we're going to skip this one here and you don't really see it anyway and the half double crochet that's in between these cables that's the one we want to work in with the half double crochet worked into the top loops and we're going to do that again three back post double crochets half double worked in between that last stitch and the next stitch at center of the cable back post double crochet in the next three stitches again skipping this half double crochet and then we go right into the waddle stitches. And then after those waddle stitches, we're going to work behind that third cable. Again, this is the one that's framed with the columns. So we're going to work three back post double crochets, half double worked into that next half double worked into the top loops, and then three back post double crochets. This is working over the crossed portion. half double worked in that center in between those two stitches and then three more back post double crochets and skip this half double half double in the next stitch and then three more back post double crochets And then again, two waddle stitches. So now working over the center two cables in that uh, the large honeycomb, it is basically the same, but let me go ahead and show you what one of them looks like. We're gonna work three back post double crochets. And again, a half double in between the last stitch and the next stitch. And three more back post double crochets. Half double, actually skip this half double, but half double worked in the next half double. And the other side might look a little different because this was a back cross, so I'll show that to you back post double crochets in the next three stitches half double worked in between those last with well, the last stitch and the next stitch which is again the center of the cable and then three more back post double crochets you're not going to really see these stitches but you will feel them um, with your 
your fingers of your non-dominant hand. So make sure that you don't skip those. And then again, half double in that center, of the half double. Okay, so go ahead and finish that, what I just showed you, over that next um, cable in the center. And then let's just talk through the rest, which is very much the same. Two waddle stitches, and again, you're working over the, the, the uh, that cable that is framed by these two columns. And just don't forget that half double crochet worked in between or in the center of these cables. That's very important. Waddle stitch, waddle stitch. Then you have the two crossed cables, waddle stitches, the column. Uh, don't forget those half doubles and working over that um, cable just like we've done. Waddle stitch, waddle stitch. And when you get to the last 10 stitches, I'm going to just talk you through it. You start with a front post, front post, back post. And again, make sure that you have 10 ribbing stitches and then you work the half double crochet at the end of the row. So go ahead and finish row 13. Now for row number 14, we're going to start with a chain two and again, start with the front post double crochet followed by a back post double crochet. Do that for 10 stitches. And again, don't forget that 10th stitch is a back post double crochet. It would be very easy to forget it. So be sure that you are counting to 10 for those first 10 stitches. And then we work our waddle stitches. Again, worked in the chain one space. Now, what we're going to do across is going to be pretty straightforward. Whether we're working two cables or one, it's pretty much going to be the same with these columns. We're going to work three front post double crochets, followed, followed by a half double crochet in those half doubles. And we're going to do this all the way across three front post double crochets. And here's the half double that we worked in the center of the column. Just repeat that all the way across the row. And I will finish this first section here with you. And then we'll take a look at this together. Three more front post double crochets and then again we get to the waddle stitches so we're just working three front post half double three front post half double etc and you can see how it's starting to shape the um, cables a little bit better when you get to the two cables it's the same way three front post half double three front post half double three front post half double three front post and then the waddles and then we do that again over that third cable and then the waddles. And then when you get to the center, it is, it's the same, except it's just um, with eight columns, three front post double, half double, three front post, half double, three front post, half double, three front post, half double, and then do it again. Three front post, half double, three front post, half double, three front post, half double, three front post. Half and then back to the waddle stitches and then just continue that on the other side. When you get to the last stitches, remember we're going to start with a back post followed by a front post over those last 10 stitches and then a half double in the chain two space. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look after we've completed 14 rows. And again, be sure to do a visual confirmation, I do have 10 stitches on this side where I ended. And you can see this cable framed with these col columns growing and the two cables. And again, another cable. And let's take a look at the center motif, which is going to be a large honeycomb here and a large honeycomb here as well and the other side. Okay, so now I am going to give you 
um, a three row assignment. So this is row 14. For row 15, we're going to turn and we're going to continue with the pattern stitch on each end with the um, with the ribbing and with the waddle stitches and everything. The only difference from the last row is that you're going to be working back post double crochets instead of front post double crochets over all the cabling areas. And you know what to do with the waddle stitches. So go ahead and work row 15, working with the back post double crochets over the cables. And then row 16, you will work, it's actually a repeat of row 14 with the front post um, double crochets. And then again, um, the row that follows that, which would be row 17, you're going to work back post double crochets again. So we're gonna work rows 15, row 16, and row 17 and go ahead and work those with those front or back post double crochets and then I'll show you what I have after I complete these three rows. This is what you should have after 17 rows. I'll go ahead and show you each section. So you see the one cable, two cables, one cable, and the two with the large honeycomb. And then again, the one cable with the two columns, two cables, and then one again. And of course, you have your ribbing on both ends. For row number 18, I'm gonna start with the chain two. Again, skip that first half double and we begin with a front post followed by a back post over those first 10 stitches of the ribbing. So go ahead and do those 10 stitches. And as an additional reminder, that 10th stitch will be a back post double crochet. And then we work the waddle stitches in those two previous waddle stitches. Single crochet, chain one, double crochet in each of those. And now let me talk you through what we're going to do before we actually do it. We're going to cross these two cables or two columns again, and these just remain columns. So let's continue with that. Three front post double crochets. Then we follow that with that half double worked into the top loops. And now we're going to cross this cable. Skip these three stitches, half double and that next half double. Just like we did before, three front post treble crochets. Working in front of those last four stitches, we're going to front post treble in this stitch, this stitch, and then this stitch. Just like that. And half double in the next half double and then three front post double crochets. One, two, and three. And then let's pause and take a look at what we've just accomplished here. So you can see that looks more like a cable. And again, after we work a few more rows back and forth, it is going to continue to change or to get better at least, look more and more like a nice, even, smooth cable. All right, so now we're gonna work the waddle stitches again. And for the double cable, we're gonna cross these two columns and then we will cross these two columns in the same manner, but I will work these with you. 
skip the next three stitches, half double, and that next half double, front post treble in the next three stitches, working in front of those last four stitches, we're going to front post treble in the three stitches that we just skipped. And half double, that next half double. And we're going to do that again. Skip the next three stitches, half double in the next half double, front post treble in the next three stitches. Now working in front of the last four stitches, we're going to front post treble in the three stitches that we skipped. And it brings us back to our waddle stitches again. And let's go ahead and pause and take a look so you can see how those cables look. Okay, now the next section here, we are just going to cross this in the same way that we did the cable here. So again, three front post double crochets, half double, and then we skip these three half double front post treble in these three, and then working in front, front post treble in those stitches, half double, three front post doubles, and then work two waddle stitches, and then I will show you how to work over the large honeycomb sections. Now we come to the large honeycomb section, and I will do both of these with you. We're going to skip the next three stitches half double in that next stitch, and we're basically going to work a front cross, which is what we've been working with the crossing of the cables. Front post treble in the next three stitches. And working in front of the last four stitches, we're going to front post treble in the three stitches that we just skipped. And then we work a half double in that next half double. And we're going to do a back cross with these two columns, which is like what we did back here a few rows down. Okay, we're going to skip the next three stitches, half double, and that next half double, front post treble in the next three stitches. Let's try that one again. Now working behind these four stitches. This is where we come into the hole from behind and we work those three front post treble crochets. So that's one. Again coming in and locate the stitch with your uh, finger and thumb there and then work that front post treble. That's two. And coming in again And there's the third stitch. Half double in that next half double. Let's pause. And I want to show you how this turns out. Do you see how Okay, the cable comes around and then it curves back in? So you're doing that on both sides. So you're making like a giant honeycomb with that. All right, we're going to do it again. 
over here. Skip the next three stitches, half double, next half double, front post treble, and the next three stitches. And working in front of those last four stitches, front post treble in the three stitches that we skipped. Half double in the next stitch. Skip the next three, half double in the next half double. Front post treble in the next three stitches. Okay, and then after that is where we work the back cross, where we come in again to this opening from behind and work those three front post treble crochets. And be careful that we come behind those four stitches that we worked at first. That would be the half double and two and the three trebles after that. All right. So let's go ahead and do these waddle stitches and then we'll take a look at how it looks with two of the honeycomb cables completed. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, very nice. And so what will happen as we continue this in the correct manner, another honeycomb will appear right here as the pattern progresses and I think you're going to really like that. It's going to be be a lot of fun to to see all the twist and tur turns in this particular design. All right, so now the other side, let me talk you through what we're going to do since it's the same as what we've already done on the other side. Three front post doubles, half double, and then again we cross with the front cross where you work these stitches and then working in front just like we've done before do a front cross over these two columns and then just front post double crochets and don't forget the half doubles in between waddle stitch waddle stitch and then we're going to cross both of these cables so um, just the way we did it earlier in this row waddle stitches and then again three front post double crochets for the columns, half doubles, and we're going to cross these two columns to cross the top of this cable. And again, your front post double crochets, two waddle stitches, and starting with a back post double crochet, you're going to work these ribbing stitches, ending with a half double. And again, make sure that you have 10 post stitches before you work that half double crochet at the end of the row. So go ahead and finish row 18. Let's take a look at what we should have after completing 18 rows. Taking special note of how these cables are crossed. We have the one cable and then the two cables and then again the one, the two sets of the large honeycomb and then again the one cable, the two cables and then the one cross cable and again the ribbing on both sides. Now let's go on to row number 19 and this is going to be very familiar because we are just working the row that follows the crossed cables. So that starts with a chain two and a back post double crochet followed by a front post double crochet. So go ahead and work those first 10 ribbing stitches. After working those 10 ribbing stitches, 
we go to the waddle stitches. So let's go ahead and work those. You're now working on the back side of these cables. We have, just like we've done in the previous row, three back post double crochets, followed by a half double worked in the top loops. The only exception to that is when you're working across the cables, and I'm going to show you one right here just as a refresher. Three back post double crochets, and then we work that half double in between the last stitch and the next stitch, which is the center of that cable, and that's the main difference. So it's again three back post double crochets. Again, skipping this half double and then a half double in that next half double crochet. And then followed by three more back post double crochets. Waddle stitches. Next waddle stitch, working that single crochet, chain one, double crochet. And then we come across another cable, again, three back post doubles, a half double in between the last stitch and the next stitch, three more back post, skipping this half double, half double in the next half double, and then again, three back post doubles, half double in between these two stitches, and then three more back post skip this half double and then right into the waddle stitches again and we again the three back post etc as we work over this section waddle stitches and then when we get to the center we're just going to work again three back post double crochets half double in between where those cables cross and then three more back post doubles here half double in the center and then repeat that across that section, um, etc. And then we're going to uh, go all the way across doing that. And then when we get to the end, we work these 10 front and back post ribbing stitches, or a front and back post double crochets, and then a half double in that turning chain. So go ahead and finish this row. Now we're ready to start row number 20. And let me go ahead and talk about this. Row 20 is an important row because what we're going to do here is we're going to transition the single cable here with the two columns to two cables. So this is going to, we're going to do this by crossing these two columns and these two columns on the single uh, cable. And then when we get to the double cables where they have the two here. This column is going to become a column. This one is going to become a column just like over here. And these two columns are going to cross to begin forming a cable like this. So basically this is going to shift over here and this is going to shift over here. So they are going to alternate and again, the single is going to become a double, just like I explained. Um, the center motif, um, these columns are just simply going to grow. They're simply going to go up. We're not going to be crossing these for a while. And over here, just the same as I mentioned, the one cable is going to become two cables here. The two cables will become one cable with the columns on the side. And again, the one cable will become two, um, two cables. So I just wanted to give you a little, uh, 
look at the map as to where we're going and then we'll go ahead and start this. So the first thing we're going to do is start with the chain two and then we're going to work those 10 ribbing stitches starting with a front post and then a back post. So go ahead and work those first 10 stitches. After that we work our waddle stitches. All right, now we are ready to work our first cable. We are going to take this cable from one to two cables, and we're going to skip the next three stitches, half double, that next half double, front post treble in the next three stitches, And working in front of those last four stitches, we're going to front post treble in these three stitches. Half double in that next half double. Skip the next three stitches, half double in the next half double front post treble in the next three stitches, working in front of those last four stitches, front post treble in the three stitches we skipped, one, two, and then three right here. Let's go ahead and do the waddle stitches and then we'll take a look at how we transitioned this cable. All right, so you can see what this looks like. Okay, and so now we have two cables and we are just, you know, gonna grow these with front and back post double crochets with the following rows. All right, so the next set, how to transition from two to one, we work three front post double crochets. That's here we are forming a column. Half double in that next half double. And now these two columns are the ones that we're going to cross as a cable. So we skip the next three stitches, half double, that next half double, front post treble in the next three stitches. working in front of those last four stitches, we're going to front post treble in the three stitches that we skipped. Oops, pull it through two loops, there we go. Half double in the next half double, and then front post double crochets in those next three. And let's take a look at what we just did here. So you're going from two, two cables to one. And these will again be columns along the side. So that is how we transition these. I'm going to go ahead and do the next one with you just in case so that you understand what's happening here. And again, what I'm showing you on this one side of the throw, you're gonna do the same on the other side once we get past the honeycomb. Okay, so now this will transition from one to two cables. So we're gonna skip 
the first three stitches, half double crochet in that next stitch, front post treble in the next three stitches, having trouble with my yarn here. All right, working in front of those four stitches, we're gonna front post treble in these stitches. It is a long way over to this stitch. I know it may feel awkward, but it is correct. You will get used to it as you practice these stitches. Okay, so we cross that one, half double that next stitch skip the next three stitches, half double in the next, front post treble in the next three stitches, and working in front of those last four stitches, we're going to front post treble in these stitches. After we finish that, let's go ahead and do the waddle stitches. Let's take a look at how this transitions from one to two crossed cables. So now we come to the large honeycomb section and for now we are just going to work front post double crochets over the post stitches, half double in the half doubles, and then front post double crochets. half double and a half doubles. I'll just work this whole section with you just so that there's there's no question as to what needs to be done. Half double and a half double. So we finished the first just walk, walking across there with those front post doubles and the half doubles in between. And let's just finish up the section here with more of the half, front, I'm sorry, um, front post double crochets followed by the half doubles. These do take quite a bit of yarn, so you're noticing that I'm having to pull yarn quite often, but that's okay. It's going to make a lovely blanket. It's going to be very warm. It's certainly going to look beautiful in your living room or wherever you decide to display it. Okay, so just finished this section, let's just take a look at this center. All right, so you can see another honeycomb forming right there. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm just going to continue on with these two waddle stitches and once I do that, I'm just going to continue to do what I did on the other side, turning one cable 
into two, two cables into one with the columns on either side, and again, you know, the wattle stitches in between, and the one cable again turn into two cables. I will say one thing about this when you get to row 20 when you do this on the repetitions um, when as you as you um, develop this project it is very easy to forget to cross the cables after this. I have done it so many times where I just go ahead and work front post on everything and just grow all the columns and then have to come back and rip it out realizing that no I should have crossed the cable so whenever you complete a cable with the second crossing up here to make this a cable um, just know that you're going to have that one row after the cable crossing where you put the half double in between and then the very next row following that you're going to have to cross the cables again okay so you might want to have to, um, you can use stitch markers, whatever, or, or just try to remember whenever you, after you finish this cable crossing that in two rows, you're going to be crossing cables again. Okay. Um, just, just want to make note of that because it's a mistake that I often make in patterns like this. All right. So go ahead and finish row 20. Now that I finished row 20, I am definitely going to stop and give it a visual check. So we have one one cable turned into two here with the two crossing of the cables and two cables turned into one cable with the columns and again one cable turned into two and we have the center large honeycombs and then we have again one cable turned into two two cables turned into one with the columns and one turned into two so it looks good now we're ready to embark on row 21 which is a very familiar row to you we chain two and we're going to work the 10 front and back post starting with the back post double crochet for the ribbing front post etc over those 10 stitches two waddle stitches and let's just talk through this since you've done this at least twice now um, three back post doubles, half double in between the last and the next stitch, the center of the cable, three back post, skip this half double, half double here, etc. As you go across on the crossed cables, and then when you get to the back side of the single cable, three back post, half double, three back post, half double in between where the cable is crossed, three back post, skip this stitch, half double here three back post double crochets and then again waddle stitches and we're doing it again over the back side of the large um, honeycomb cable it's even easier because we are not dealing with crossed cables at all here it's just three back post half double three back post half double etc eight times all the way across just remember that after that last the last set is just three back post double crochets no half double we transition right back into the waddle stitches and then we work again the back side just the way we do um, the other side waddle waddle and then when we work the ribbing stitches it does start with a front post then a back post and again make sure you are maintaining 10 of these um, ribbing and then a half double worked in the chain two turning chain so go ahead and finish row 21. Now for rows 22 and 23, we are just going to continue in pattern stitch with the ribbing, the waddle stitches. For the cabled portion, it's just going to be front post double crochets with those half doubles in between. There is, we are not going to be crossing any cables. So just front post double crochets and the half doubles in the appropriate places, which you should be comfortable with by now. When you get to the center, Honeycomb is the same, just front post double crochets and half doubles. So again, rows 22 and 23. Of course, row 22 will have the front side facing, and you're going to do front post double crochets. And when you have the back side facing for row 23, you're going to work back post double crochets. Again, just working in pattern stitch. So go ahead and work rows 22 and 23. 
So this is what you should have after completing 23 rows. And you can start to see how the pattern is developing. Now, the one thing that's going to be different about row 24 that we're going to start in just a minute or so is that we're going to be crossing only the honeycomb cables on row 24. This is going to be a back cross. This is going to be a front cross, a back cross, and a front cross. And I will show that to you when I get to that portion. But I just wanted to give you a good visual representation of where you should be after 23 rows. All right, so let's go ahead and start row 24. I'm gonna go ahead and just talk you through this. We're going to do a chain two. We're going to start with a front post double crochet and work front post, back post, front post, back post over those first 10 stitches. Don't forget the back post here where your stitch count will be off. Two waddle stitches and working across the cabling portions here, we're just gonna work front post double crochets and half doubles in the appropriate places and work that until you get to the honeycomb section right here in the center of the throw. So go ahead and work these waddle stitches and then I will show you how to proceed. So now we come to the honeycomb section and let me just explain carefully. This is going to be a back cross, but this column is going to remain on top as it crosses outward, just like this one did down here. And this is going to cross in front of this column. This column is going to cross in front of this column. And this column is going to cross in front of this column. So this will be a back cross where you work behind the stitches. This will be a front cross, a back cross, and a front cross. And I'll do the first, um, first half of this at least with you just as a refresher. We're going to skip the first three stitches, half double, in that next half double, front post treble in the next three stitches, and remember this is a little bit of a trickier part, working behind the last four stitches, we come into this hole right here and we work this stitch this stitch and this stitch as front post treble crochets. That's one. I'm going a little bit faster because we have spent a lot of time on this already, um, but I just want to make sure that you understand how these cables will continue in this pattern. Okay, so that was a back cross. And then we work a half double that next stitch and the next uh, section is going to be a front cross skip the next three stitches half double in that half double front post treble crochet in the next three stitches and now working in front of these last four stitches, we front post treble in this, this, and this stitch. And let's get rid of some of that fuzz there. There we go and half double in that next half double. Let's take a pause and see what we've done. Okay, so we're getting ready to form another full size honeycomb like we have down here, but also notice in the middle, we're closing this one up. So we're, you know, have, we have created essentially another honeycomb in between these. So we skip the next three, half double in that next stitch front post treble in the next three stitches. It's 
So now working behind those four stitches, we're going to work those three front post treble crochet. Make sure you're using your fingers to, you know, your fingers here to direct where that stitch is located. Your fingers and your thumb. Okay, there we go. Let's work a half double in the next half double. Let's pause again. And you can see now how this has created another honeycomb. I think that is just so cool. So you have honeycombs here and here, and that is going to continue throughout. And you also have, you know, cables that's being made out of cables. All right, so the next part, skip the next three, half double in the next stitch, front post treble in the next three stitches. Working in front of those last four stitches, front post treble in those three stitches that we just skipped. And then we get back to our waddle stitches and working all of those front post double crochets as we go across in pattern stitch on the other stitches. But I just wanted to be sure to show you how this center is, is coming out. I just think it's, it's lovely. So you have, again, the two honeycombs here, um, transitioning to another one here. So go ahead and finish this row. Now for row 25, it's going to be very similar to what we've been doing with our pattern stitch. We just continue on with the 10 stitches of the ribbing, the waddle stitches, and across the cables, we're going to work three back post double crochets, half double back post, etc. Now the main difference comes in when we come to the back side, okay, here we go. We'll come to the back side of the large honeycomb where we have just crossed the cables. So what we're gonna do when we come across there, we, again, three back post double crochets, half double in between the last stitch and the next stitch in the center of the cable, and then three back post double crochets, skip this half double, half double in the next half double, etc. as you go across those 32 stitches, making sure that you work that half double crochet where the cables were crossed. So go ahead and work row 25. I want to show you the cables after 25 rows. This is where we are. We're getting ready to cross these again. Okay, so for row 26 that we are about to start, I'm going to just talk you through this one so you should have the skills for this at this point. Okay, so we're going to continue with our ribbing. Again, make sure that you count them and don't forget that last back post double crochet. There still remains 10 of those. And our waddle stitches for the two cables, we are going to cross them here and here. And... For the single cable, we're just going to continue these columns. We're going to cross these two in the middle to complete the single cable. And again, two cables, we're going to cross both of these with, again, all of these are um, front crosses, none of the back cross stuff, just all the front cross working in front as you cross these. Now, for the center section, we are not going to cross anything. We're just going to continue to grow these cables with front post double crochets and working the half doubles, of course, in the half doubles. And again, the other side, we're going to cross both of these cables. Um, these are columns and then cross this cable and again, cross these two cables and then the waddle stitches, of course, and then the 10 uh, ribbing stitches followed by that half double crochet worked in the turning chain. So go ahead and work row 26. After completing 
row 26, this is what you should have. Again, two completed cables here. One has been completed here and two here. I merely added front post double crochets and half doubles to the um, honeycomb section. And then again, the two cables, one cable crossed and then two cables crossed here. So now row 27, I'm just going to review quickly. We have our 10 stitches of ribbing bottle stitches of course and we are working the row after the cables have crossed so that means that as you work across the these cables you will have a half double in between the three back posts you know half double and then three back posts again skipping this half double working this half double and then three more uh, half double in between where the cables cross and then three more back post double crochets skip this stitch and then we go on to the waddle stitches and working behind with the one cable. It's three back post half doubles, of course. And then we work the cross cable with that half double in between with those um, back post double crochets. And so now I just do want to point out as well, when we get to the back side of the large honeycomb, we're simply working three back post, half double, three back post, half double, etc., all the way across. So go ahead and finish row 27. Okay, this is what you should have after completing 27 rows. I want to pay particular attention to the cabling because I'm going to be giving you some instructions on going forward. Okay, here is the honeycomb. And I will say about the honeycomb, it's going to be on a slightly different schedule than what I'm going to tell you in just a minute here. But on the honeycomb, you need to pay attention. Every six rows, these cables will twist and turn. So um, we have already made our way into some of these so we have two more rows with this particular area and then it's time to um, to cross the cables again and this can be done in a very visual way you can follow the pattern the pattern will have specifics on when it's you cross and on what rows but for example the next time this cable crosses it's going to be a front cross this one will be a back cross, front cross, and a back cross. Okay, and let me just continue to show you what I have on the other side, just showing you after 27 rows. Okay, so now what we are going to do, okay, so I just explained the honeycomb is the exception, and if you need specific rows as to when to um, cross the cables on these. Please check the written pattern. I do highly recommend you follow a written pattern with this. It will help you um, not just to read patterns, but also um, to keep better track of the rows that you're on. Okay, so again, this, the cables will cross every six rows, and you do need to watch visually in which direction these are going to go, if, especially if you don't have the written pattern. So now for the rest of the cabling, which is the majority of what we have and you know, includes the ribbing and everything, uh, we are going to repeat rows 12, which is where these cables were first crossed, through 27, which is the row that we just finished. So rows 12 through 27 are going to be repeated again and again, and the number of repeats are going to be put right across the bottom of the screen. Of course, if you want your project to be longer or shorter, you can adjust that at will. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat this. And again, now, as you go back and repeat this, you may have to disregard some of the information on the honeycomb because, as I said before, this is going to continue on a slightly different schedule. Um, these cables are on a 16 row repeat schedule. Um, these cables are on 
uh, it's more like a 12 row repeat, but it, every, like I said, every six rows, these cables are going to change. So what you see in the video for the honeycomb may differ from what you need to be doing, but the, the, the support as you go back is mainly for this cabling system, which I think might be a little more confusing. Um, and this is where you're going to need the help. So go ahead and uh, work on that. And then I will show you how to convert this back to the rows with the ribbing to finish up the final portion of this project. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and work the row to discontinue um, the waddle stitches here. And like I said before, we're just gonna continue the way we've been working the ribbing. I'm just going to continue with that. So I'll go ahead and work these 10 stitches. So when we get to the waddle stitches, this is the only thing that we're going to be doing differently really in this row. We're going to skip that double crochet and in the chain one space, we're going to work two double crochets and then one double crochet in to the single crochet. So we'll do that for each of the waddle stitches. Two double crochets in that chain one space and then one double crochet in the single crochet. Now as we work across the cabling we're just going to work front post double crochets over those stitches just the way we would if we are working another row. We're not going to cross any of the cables however. Okay, and then a half double in the half double, just like that. And again, front post double crochets over all of those post stitches. So let's just go ahead and work this all the way across. Again, half double crochet in the half double crochets. And again, three, you're gonna have, end up with three double crochets over each of these waddle stitches, two in the, two in the chain one space, and then one in that single crochet. So go ahead and work that all the way across the row. So I've just finished this row to convert the waddle stitches back to double crochets and just wanted to show you what you should have. Do be careful to check that you did work double crochets three per waddle stitch before you do this next row. I, I caught myself uh, going back to just doing waddle stitches and the chain one spaces. So you may want to just double check to make sure that you've completed this row correctly. After we do that, we're going to turn and we are going to work the ribbing rows. And again, chain two. And we start with a back post double crochet. And I'll go ahead and work those ribbing stitches. After having worked over those 10 established ribbing stitches, we're just going to continue. So we last worked a front post. So we'll follow that with a back post and this alternate front post and back post. So go ahead and alter that going back and forth. And I'll do a couple of these over the um, cables as well. We're gonna treat the half double crochets just as we would these other post stitches or double crochets. So just again, alternating back post followed by the front post. And this is over that cable, back post. And we come to that half double and we just treat it like a post stitch as well. Okay, so go ahead and work this all the way across. And when you get to the other ribbing, it should work out. You should, you know, your back post should be where they should be in the front post, etc. And I'll show that to you after I work across. Okay, and I'm gonna show you what the other side will look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish working this across and I'll show you the last 10 stitches. So I have worked this all the way across and I just wanted to show you 
If you have the correct number of stitches, this should work out for you just like it's working out for me. So I just worked a back post double crochet across those waddle stitches. Now I've come to those last 10 stitches and it's time for a front post. So it does work. So just make sure that you have the right number of stitches. Um, if you've been following along with me, this should work out for you. So I'm going to finish this row and then let me just give you a couple of quick instructions. Let me go ahead and show this to you. So essentially we've worked, you know, the foundation row for the ribbing and then an additional row. So now we're going to um, just go back and forth like we did um, starting in rows two at the very beginning. So we're just going to work seven rows of ribbing, working front post over the front post, back post over the back post. So go ahead and after you complete this row, work seven additional rows of the ribbing and then I'll fasten off with you and show you a little quick tutorial on how to hide those loose threads. As promised, I just worked that last half double crochet into the turning chain. Let's go ahead and give it a chain. And I'm gonna pull that a little bit tightly and find my sharp pair of scissors. I'm gonna cut a generous strand. Go ahead and give that a tug again. Now I'm gonna find my yarn needle and I'm going to give you just a real quick tutorial. I know many of you know how to do this, but in case you've never hidden loose strands before, it won't take me a minute. Go ahead and thread your needle like so. And let's go ahead and before we do that, let's take a look. And you can see that this ribbing, and it should be the same length as that at the very beginning of this throw. Okay, let's go ahead and turn it towards, towards the back side because you want to hide your strands on the back side. And I'm just going to bring this down into my stitches and with the goal of hiding this so that it is not seen. All right, so I'm going to pull that just about like that. And I'm going to work it down into my stitches here. You just want to be careful that this does not show from the front side as you do this, but with everything being of one color, that really shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay, so go ahead and bring that down into these stitches here. And after I've come down a little ways, what I like to do on this final stitch, I like to kind of come back the opposite direction into my stitches just to have a little a little bit more resistance especially since I'm working with acrylic um, it wouldn't be as much of an issue with the wool because it does tend to uh, grip itself better all right so go ahead and pull back on that and let's go ahead and trim close but not too close make sure you don't hurt your stitches there now I've got a bunch more to do and I'm going to hide them on the back side. Well, let's go ahead and take another look at this design. Well, I hope you enjoyed making Shannon's Wandering Throw with me today. I would love to hear from you. Please comment below in the comment section. God bless. Bye-bye.